as you're looking at the chart, you can have these hands that are very close to each other. For example, we have a hand here, we have one here, and we have one here. All three of them, they're, they're very, very close to each other. And it, uh, I would say that's discretionary. It's up to you if you're going to have three entries, meaning you have one for this one, one for this one, and one for this one, or if you're going to have two, because these are so close, consider them as one entry, and because this one is a bit higher, that's another entry. Okay, that, I believe, is discretionary. It's up to you. Now, the next thing that we have in this uh, system that we talked about for aggressive traders was the idea of the radical change in price. And when you have a radical change in price away from the moving average, what we look for is a big bar that is moving opposite to the change. So if the, if the market's moving down, we're looking for a big bar that closes up in the top half of its range in order for an aggressive trader to have an entry. And the entry would be right at the close of the bar. Now, as a conservative trader, what we look for is the market to form the four to seven bar range. In other words, we want some time to go by. We don't want to just jump in the market. We want to see that if the market's moving down, that it starts consolidating, right? It goes sideways. We get the compression again. Now, this is usually where you'll see the market for, form the weave, but it doesn't have to, and it doesn't always. Okay, not always are you going to get the weave. Just know that the conservative trader wants to wait, and you're waiting for that four to seven bars. Now, with the four to seven bars, um, me, here's an example. We have the radical change. Uh, we have the radical change here where price has moved away from the average and then it starts trading sideways. Remember, we, we're waiting one, two, three, four. After these four bars, we're waiting for the narrow range. It comes in on this bar here. Now, there are two ways to trade this. The aggressive trader, once you get the narrow range bar, the, you have an entry on the low of the bar and one on the high of the bar. Okay, in this case, you're using the high and the low of that one day as a breakout. So if the market then breaks below the low, you go short. If the market instead breaks above the high, you go long of that one bar. Now, the conservative trader can trade the range itself. Okay, so we have the radical change, remember, here. As soon as the market starts trading sideways, we start looking for the range, or the box as some traders call it, here and here. So the conservative trader would wait for the market to break below that. They have to remember, if you're going uh, for an aggressive trader, going short below here, the stop is above the high. Stop is above the high of the day. If you're a conservative trader and you're going short below the low of the range, your stop is above the high of the range. Okay, this is why this is a small position. We don't want to take on a bunch of risk up here because our stop could be pretty big. So if we go short, boom. I mean, look at this. You go short right here, the market immediately turns back around and then eventually falls through and then kind of goes sideways a little bit. But by having our stop above the range, we're protecting ourselves. And because we have a small position, 
We're not taking on a lot of risk. 